Well, a new study out today says poisonings by laundry pods are actually up 20%. So how do you protect your family against a potentially deadly household item? We're bringing in Paula Tutman joining us this afternoon for more on this report. This is disturbing because so many people depend on these, Paula. Absolutely. And Karen, I've got a little bit of test for you. So we've got some products right here. And I want you to tell me which one is toxic if it's ingested. So we've got Power Aid, Ajax, Ocean Spray, and Fabuloso. Which one do you think is toxic? Any clue? I think I lost. I'm sorry, Karen. You know what? If you answered me, I lost you. I just lost Actually, IFB. I We're going to tell you which one. We're going to. Oh, oh, you're still looking? I do hear you, Paula. I mean, I guess I would guess Ajax, maybe. I don't know. Right? The a okay. All right, good. Sorry, I thought I lost you for a second. Listen, here's the problem. Manufacturers are making this stuff look so appealing and smell so appealing so they can market it to parents, but it's the children who are getting into trouble. What do you think about these things? Kelly LaVassar proactively works with her four-year-old daughter, Kate, in a game of toy, candy, or something else. These two look pretty similar, don't they? Yeah, what's the difference? Only it's not really a game. It is a life or death drill that could save this little girl when she visits her grandparents who use various detergent pods in their home. What about this? Toy or candy? Toy. Kate was flawless, didn't miss a single one. Thank goodness, because when mom puts on her work jacket, she becomes Dr. Kelly Lavasser of Beaumont Children's. And she sees what happens when children ingest household cleaners and poisons accidentally. Toy or candy? Toy. What about these? So you think these two are toy, candy, or something else? Something else. Good. Good job, Kate. With these kids, they can have airway obstruction or trauma to the esophagus, um, and ultimately they can die from ingesting these pods. Packaging is big business. Product manufacturers spend big bucks to add colors and fragrances to excite consumers. But those same things also confuse children. And the fact that in spite of heavy media and educational campaigns, warning of the dangers, children are still accidentally ingesting detergent pods, and it's up 17%. These detergent pods, since they're so much more concentrated, they can do a lot more damage to kids. When a child gets a hold of one of these and they do put it in their mouth, they have sharp little teeth, it can easily be broken, and, and the burst, the gush, startles them. <gasps> and they breathe in the contents of this, which is poisonous. At Beaumont Safety City USA, safety expert they Donna Bucciarelli tells parents, if you won't buy a toy because it's a choke hazard, use the same barometer for household cleaners. If you have a child six and under, just don't bring these products into your house at all. If it fits through our toilet paper roll, then it should not be anywhere that a small child can get near it. Okay, so here's the deal. It's not just the pods, it's household items in general. Karen, you guess Ajax, my photographer Chester and I did as well. It's not. It's this fabuloso, which actually looks like juice, but if you look all the way down here in small print, it says household cleaner. We looked at the ingredients. They are toxic. I actually smelled this stuff. It smells like cranberry juice. And so here's the bottom line. Listen, if a product looks like something other than what it does, in other words, if it looks like juice, but it's cleaner, if it's a pod, but it looks like candy, don't buy it if you have children. It's that simple. Really good advice, and you know what? You're right. You can't tell. You look at all those. When you lined all those products up with all those different colors, Paula, it really got confusing, especially if you're a little child. You can't tell. Uh, Karen, we couldn't tell them we're adults. We thought this was juice. Our safety experts said, no, that's a household cleaner. We couldn't even tell. All right. Very helpful information. We appreciate it. Paula Tubman reporting live for us this afternoon.